If you're a music producer, you're probably somewhat familiar with the sub pack. The sub pack is essentially a device to replicate sub frequencies without a subwoofer using vibrations. It's generally great if you want to feel those sub frequencies while using headphones without having other people hear it. It does this by directly vibrating on your body. Now in the middle of 2020, sub pack announced their new products, the sub pack X1 and the sub pack C1 available for pre-order. The Subpack X1 is both wearable and able to be strapped to a seat. It's wireless and has a mobile app, also rechargeable with eight hours of time before needing to be recharged. They also planned another product to be sold with it called the C1. That was basically a control module for it with a super early bird discount and limited quantities. A lot of their supporters as well as detractors believe this pre-order tactic was actually crowdfunding as it seems like it was nowhere near completion when they started taking pre-orders. In fact, looking back, it seems like they hadn't even made one yet. Would you believe that these pre-orders taken in 2020 still have not shipped yet to this day. This is a story that will make you rethink paying for pre-orders as well as crowdfunding. Now let's go back to the beginning and see if we can figure out what happened. They stated that they would have the initial shipments going out at the end of the year in 2020. They also stated that working in the age of COVID has been interesting as it has forced us to be even more innovative and take a new look at how we solve various problems. While global supply chains and component availability have been hit hard, manufacturing capacity has also opened up. So we are doing our best to work around any shortcomings to use this to our advantage. But that is disgustingly optimistic. So they clearly know they're in deep shit by doing this with COVID going on. Because this is a bit after the COVID pandemic had already started, but they chose to paint it with a silver lining seemingly. A few months later, they sent out another email stating that COVID had an impact on their original plans due to supply chains and manufacturing networks being turned on their heads. I feel like this is something they probably should have looked into beforehand. They stated there was a silver lining though, as it gave them a chance to relook at their designs and make some improvements. If you're getting the vibe this may have been rushed out the door, you're not the only one. They had to partner with companies in North America to get parts that were necessary. They also stated that it should be rolling out the production line in March 2021. In the next email, they provided two fairly generic looking images, this one and this one. It appears to be the control module for the Subpack X1, as well as, I'm not sure if this is the actual software, but it appears to be on a stock image of a laptop. I could be wrong though, but this doesn't look like a real laptop and a real picture of the software. It looks like what would happen if you photoshopped it together. Again, I might be wrong though. None of these images actually show the Subpack up close, which is already pretty fishy in my opinion. If it's coming out in three months, where's the real thing at? Now, even if the product was ready at this time, it seems like they would still need to do quite a bit of testing on it. Now, this should be obvious why here. You wouldn't want to rush a new product out the doors in case there's bugs with it or it's not up to standard. It kind of feels like they're rushing to meet deadlines, especially with a product as ambitious as this. It's a purely text update, no pictures, and they are confident that it's still gonna ship out at the end of March. I personally wouldn't have had any faith in this at this point. We don't even have pictures of the real thing yet, and they're saying it's coming out a month from this time period. The month finally came. The month the ship pack, ship pack. The month, fi <laughs> the month finally came. The month that the sub pack was meant to ship and we got an email. Let's take a poll here, guys. What do you guys think happened? Did it ship? Was there a delay? Was there even pictures of it? Let me know. If you guessed more delays, you're absolutely correct. If you guessed there weren't any pictures either, you were also correct. Come down and get your prize. The prize isn't a sub pack though, sadly. The sub pack X1 is still not shipped yet to this day. So apparently they experienced new delays in their supply chain, something that happened all of a sudden apparently. Citing that availability of certain components necessary for the manufacturing build of the X1 and C1 have been significantly slower than anticipated. They also stated that the first shipments should begin in June 2021. If you haven't picked up on it yet, they still haven't learned their lesson about announcing a release date and then not backing it up. Oh boy, we got some pictures. Hey, wait a minute. These pictures were just your last chance to pre-order it with a discount. What gives? Another update came just a month later, again with no pictures. We welcome the light that appears to be at the end of the tunnel with the pandemic and that there is no change in their planned delivery time which is the end of june 2021 <sighs> all right fingers crossed this might be the one finally boys another email came in may stating that there are major chip shortages but they still have their eye on the june 2021 release date hmm all right. They also stated that their in-house testing is yielding amazing results and they couldn't be happier which seems kind of late for testing as this thing is supposed to ship a month from now. Well, now relative to the email. They finally did deliver something though. No, not the sub pack. Pictures. We got some pictures. Well, at least it looks like the product they promised.
Okay, it's release month here. Everybody get ready to put on your sub packs. Oh wait, they delayed it to the end of summer. Okay, but surely this time will be the one, right? One of their key soft goods suppliers had to shut down, along with another supplier putting a hold on production. And finally in September, they learned their lesson about not sharing release dates until they're off the production line. Sorta, of. not really. They stated that they have been too optimistic each step along the way, and that while the assembly and manufacturing are done in the USA, a lot of the components come from different parts of the world still. They did say they are in the final stage though, whatever that means at this point. Oh boy, we got pictures. They have the rear cover molds complete. I'm not sure how they thought this thing would originally be out in 2020. In the C1, they've been ironing out any last minute kinks and giving overall polish to the firmware and software. They also stated that their Discord server is humming with activity. Okay, let's see what's happening in this Discord server. All right, never mind. Let's just close that. Okay, we got another update with more pictures. Let's fucking go. Okay, hopefully they aren't giving another release date that they can't deliver on. Shit, they said early 2022. Okay, but they said the betas of the X1 and C1 are almost near completion. Wait, I thought we were in the final stages of this thing. Okay, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they can still get this done in early 2022. Surely our sub packs are ready, right? Right? No, but you have have some sample packs. So we get both sample packs, right? No, just one. Pick one. Okay. Okay, but we got another picture. Thank God. At least we got a real picture of it in a real place, in a real location. Okay, but they learned their lesson for real this time. No announcing dates, right? No more announcing dates until we know it's ready. Okay, so we got a picture of the roadmap here. And this doesn't look like we're in the final stage. So they're eagle-eyed supporters. I'm guessing their Discord, pointed out that the FCC recently uploaded a report on some ongoing tests required for full product certification. And Subpack stated that part of the reason why this process takes as long as it does is due to the groundbreaking nature of the Subpack UWB wireless audio solution. And of course, their firmware and software developers happen to live in Ukraine. It seems like every single possible hurdle that these guys could trip on, they have tripped on. Of course, their developers live in Ukraine. I will give Subpack some credit. They have honored their original pre-order prices, even though the pandemic and recession have hit component prices pretty hard. But I do feel like they should have had an idea about this before they even started doing these pre-orders because the pandemic was already going on for a decent amount of months before that. Another sub pack email, another day. They stated that they are moving closer to their production validation phase. I could have sworn we were in the final stage a little while ago, but whatever. Once performance and quality have been verified, it's off to mass production. They also stated that if their supplies arrive in early December, the first unit should be ready to ship in early 2022. Uh-oh. Well, good news, we got more pictures. Okay. Mm. Well, you look at that. Not too many pictures, though. Just some. Oh, God. Another email. What is it? What is it, Subpack? I can't bear to hear it. Okay, and the first factory build is finally complete over two years later. So this time they got it for sure. They're shipping in the early part of 2023. <sighs> Fuck. When is it right now? Oh my God. Okay, and we got one more email update here. This is the final one to date so far. More delays. We got more delays here. They've uncovered some stability and consistency issues. Oh man, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it when you haven't even made the product at all when you're taking pre-order money for it and you're basically making it from scratch from the second that you're taking the pre-order. How could this happen? How could this happen, man? That's crazy. So basically they found they were unable to consistently drive the system as hard and as long as they want, if you know what I'm saying. For those of you asking why this only surfaced now, well, this is the nature of building a complex system. You're the one who suggested building this complex system and then took money for it before you even made it. What I'm wondering is did they spend all the money they already made on this? I would assume so at this point because it's been two and a half years. We're going to be approaching three years if this doesn't come out in a few months. Now, originally I wanted to wait until either this thing came out or until the next update came out, but this was the next update. They didn't meet their, their release time again, so what am I supposed to do. Am I supposed to just keep waiting? I could be waiting another three years at this point. But yeah, essentially this is all the information we have so far. Where are people's sub packs? Well, we know where they are. Why is this happening? Why did they take pre-orders for something they didn't even know if they could make? Then they spent several years trying to make it and realized, oh my God, we can't we can't make the thing we're trying to make or we're having problems making the thing we're trying to make. Yeah, it's just really irresponsible. It does seem like they're getting closer. So I have my fingers crossed for next year, maybe next year. I did actually reach out to them for comment, but then I thought about it. I'm like, what? why am I even doing this? They're just gonna tell me there's further delays. I guess the only thing I would like to ask them is, how did you not see any of this coming? Why would you take pre-orders for something that you know is not ready and it won't be ready anytime soon, but you're promising people it'll be ready soon and you're already trying to do something that's like revolutionary and groundbreaking. So 
you know, obviously that's not something that's gonna be done overnight or even within a few years. I feel like this is something that would require a lot of research and a lot of planning, a lot of testing, which is not something that could be done in even a year. In retrospect, it does seem like this is more of a crowdfunding thing than a free order thing, but that's just my opinion. Now, I definitely have problems with crowdfunding because you could be funding someone to make something that they don't even know if they can make. You're putting a lot of faith in the fact that they're going to deliver the product they say they're going to deliver. I feel like when you actually pre-order something, it should be very near completion or complete already. But yeah, it does seem like they started on this product after they got pre-orders, at least from what I can see here. When there is an update about this finally coming out, or if this continues to go on for a few more years, I'll make another video about it either way. Let me know what you guys think about this debacle. Is this music production's biggest pre-order debacle? I think so. I mean, I can't think of another one that's anything like this. I'm your host, Massive Hater, and check out my second channel, Social Media's Beat Battle. I'll see you guys in the next video. Incorporated.